Hey, welcome back everyone. In this section of machine learning, we are going to learn about some of the terminologies that we have in machine learning. We are also going to look into what are the different types of machine learning algorithm. Apart from this, we are going to jump into some real case examples where you can distinguish between what kind of algorithm is used in which place. And at the end, we are going to jump into how to split your data set. Let's start with knowing what exactly is machine learning. This is something that which we have covered a lot. It's generally learning from our data. In simpler words, let's make things much simpler than what we have done before. So we pass in a bunch of data into a machine. So this is a machine and we pass in a bunch of data. This machine learns from our data and then it predicts. That's exactly what machine learning is. The machine which we are talking over here right now is an ML algo. That is a machine learning algorithm. So this is a machine learning algorithm. We pass in some data. It learns from the data and then it predicts out. Let's widen the field of this and know about what exactly is going and happening in the back layers. So this is how the machine learning work. As I have told you that we have some data that is our training data from which our model will be trained. So we have our data. This data is again cleaned. Just remember, we have to clean our data that is feature engineering. The clean feature engineer data is passed in our ML algo. So here is where the algo part lies. Then again, Whatever data that we get, we can pass it into one more algorithm apart with a new data and then we can predict it out. But let's just drop everything over here and let's fix into this part. Let's cut out these field. We are going to talk about these in much later part where we can take the output from one algorithm as an input for another algorithm. Okay, so those are known as hybrid machine learning models, but let's look into a simpler part. So we have our training data, we have our machine learning algorithm. Passing the data into our machine learning algorithm, it gives some prediction. Now it can be anything, let's say a cat and dog classifier. We are building a cat and dog classifier. So let's say cat and dog. We pass in some images and it predicts if that image is a cat or not. So if it's a cat, it will just say, yes, it's a cat. Else it's not a dog. So if the predictions are right, then you say that you have a good model. So you say it's a good model, it's a successful model and you're getting quite some good accuracy. Else you will just retrain your model with some more data or some hyperparameter tuning. Now if hyperparameter tuning is not making sense to you, don't worry, we are going to jump into that once we start with the algorithm. Now this is the life cycle. Here is where you pass in the data. The data is discovered again feature engineering process, the model is developed where the algo lies. So it totally depends what kind of algorithm you are using depending on, upon the business problem or whatever kind of problem you are using. Then we train in our data and after your model is trained, so your model has just trained up, this model will give us some scores. Okay, what I mean by score is evaluation matrix. We will be having a bunch of evaluation matrix over here. Evaluation. This is particularly called evaluation. For this, what we say is we have different kinds of evaluation matrix. We have root mean square. We can also check out the accuracy of it, how much accurate your model is. So we have some data, this data, and we have one more data. Okay. So this is training data, and this is test data. Training data is passed into the model and then whatever the outcomes are, this model is trained and then what we do is we pass in our test data to the model. This test data will give us prediction. And then we can just check out if this is the correct prediction or not and we can get how accurate our model is. So that's about the ML life cycle. So in our next video, we are going to start with the types of machine learning algorithms. So let's catch up into our next video.